Of course, it's not just Seth Rollins that apparently has decided to snipe at fans and then people that do podcasts, or in a certain case, a WWE Hall of Famer and Mark motherfucking Henry. Let me say that again. Mark motherfucking Henry. You damn right. What the hell is going on here? Now, maybe to be fair, if we had the internet and social media in the 80s and early mid-90s, maybe we would have seen some of the other wrestlers back then do some of the same crap. Maybe. But I doubt it. Good God, do I doubt it. These wrestlers, man. Like so many of you have chosen to pursue a passion and a dream, and I respect the hell out of you for that. Fuck what people got to say about you. And if anything, use it as motivation or use it as a way to learn and grow and continue to get better. It is not necessary or required to snipe back in some emotional tirade every fucking time somebody says something about you or your character or your work or your performance that isn't 100% glowing. And I don't know if we can also blame the WWE for this because they live in such a kind of bullshit bubble. Every time they're talking about every show is fucking great. Every pay-per-view is great. Every WrestleMania is the best one ever and all this other crap. Like they've conditioned themselves to the point where they could never handle criticism. So by God, you would have to think at some point in time that would trickle down to the talent. But if you're not familiar, Mark Henry recently on a radio show was asked about Becky Lynch. And here's basically what he said. Quote, let's go back to the Becky that was the underdog, that didn't get an opportunity, that worked her whole life. And then somewhere along the lines, they go to where The Rock used to talk about himself in the third person. Don't do that. That arrogance thing is not for her. That's for Baron Corbin. That's for Taxi Stan. If you want to be over, don't be an asshole. Be the person that's like, look, I'm fighting for the fans. I've never had anybody stand up for me. That's what I wanted to be. Nobody ever stood up for me. I had to do it myself. That's what I want out of Becky. That's the way it was. And you know what? I don't really disagree with what Mark says here. Like, you know, sure, people bring up, you know, The Rock used to bury people in promos and said the most heelish shit of all. But that's also The Rock, and The Rock was truly, truly special. And that's part of the reason why he was special, because he would do things that, in theory, broke wrestling rules but made it work by God. And you just don't have many of those guys that come around. You know what I mean? And there is something to it about the lead-up for Becky Lynch to WrestleMania was a lot more interesting than her actually being the champion. And I do think there are elements of truth in what he's saying here. And that's what I think of it as. Becky was an example of one of those characters where they got a little bit of momentum and they rode the wave. But it's the chase, the thrill of the pursuit and reaching the mountaintop that gives you the ultimate payoff. After that, it is really hard to maintain. You know, like you went from her being the man and trying to talk herself into being the man, which was initially, if you remember way back, spawning off of when she attacked, what was it, Charlotte, and the WWE tried to turn her heel, but everything she said was fucking legit and true, and the fans really got behind it. Like, it's like they lost their way and now they've tried to tie her into fucking Seth Rollins and they've been bringing each other down and the WWE is bringing them down. Again, it's almost like the company is trolling these two by giving them the shittiest stuff to work with because Vince doesn't like the fact that these two champs were together. I don't fucking know. But, but there is a point in time where Becky starts to not work the way Becky should work. And even when I saw him in person a few weeks ago and the stuff they were doing, it, it just, the vibe wasn't right, man. So, to me, it's not like Mark Henry was attacking the performer. It's not like he was saying the character was total shit. He wasn't saying she didn't deserve her spot. Didn't say she was overrated. He gave of what it would appear to be, which is a foreign concept in today's world, a valid critique including some suggestions of how to do things better. That doesn't mean you have to agree with it. That doesn't mean they have to like it. But it's not like he went out of his way to be insulting or anything else here. 
And I mean, ultimately, what the hell would Mark Henry know? He got over with multiple different characters over a decade and a half career. But again, what the fuck would Mark Henry know? So, of course, because we live in the wrestling world that we do today, Becky Lynch just has to respond. She says, quote, a woman who told the world she was coming after the posters, the titles, the billboards, and the headlines, and then does it, is arrogant now? I said it, I did it, and I backed it all up. Live with it. Unquote. Just why? Like, you kind of validated Mark Henry's point here. Like, this goes beyond confidence. This does go into the arrogance tab category, and arrogance doesn't really work well for you, Becky Lynch, and your character in the way that WWE is currently trying to present it and feature it. Like, you threw the woman part in there like, oh, Christ almighty, here we go again. Um, she's coming after the posters, the titles, the billboards, and the headlines, and then does it is arrogant now. Like, if you're a wrestler... And you just came off a of main eventing WrestleMania in a featured program like that where you won. You're a champion. You get featured on TV every week. You're a headline act at house shows. The fuck would you bother if you're wasting your damn time responding like this? It's one thing if like dirt cheap people or idiots like me or other idiots like you guys sit there and spout off and have opinions about it. We're not in their spot. Like you pursued a dream, you chased a passion, you went for it, and by God, you got it! Again, I respect people like that tremendously. So why sit there and be bothered by shit like this? Why sit there and worry about it? I just don't get it. And the reality is, the past few months, Becky, your fucking character hasn't worked the same. It is not resonating the same. Fans are not liking you the same. Why the fuck do you think that is? And Mark Henry, of course, responds, quote, I said my truth as a fan and analyst. I like to feel for my good guys and women. When they say what the bad guys and girls say, it comes across as overconfidence, which in the real world makes you heal, unquote. I don't totally agree with that assessment every time, but in a lot, a lot of cases, it certainly does apply. Let's not look at the outliers like the fucking rock. Let's look at so many other people and say, you know what? That tends to hold true. And it's like one of the major problems with the John Cena character over the years. He would talk all this shit about overcoming obstacles and never giving up. Motherfucker, you were the obstacle. And then you would turn around and say this is condescending, arrogant, burial shit without any of the humor or entertainment value of somebody like The Rock or Stone Cold Steve Austin. And it didn't fucking work. But here's Becky Lynch sitting there. Like, don't you have better fucking things to do? Like, figure out how to wrestle in front of arenas that aren't fucking half empty on house shows, you dumb cunt. Figure out how to help get the television ratings up. Stop sitting there and responding backhandedly to people like Mark Henry on fucking Twitter. Makes you look like a jackass. And you know, you say, well, this is probably a work for something. Well, then it's a stupid fucking work. Reminds me of that Corey Graves Booker T bullshit. What the fuck did that accomplish? It was a ginormous waste of fucking time is what it was. So they could circle jerk each other off? Yeah, fucking right. Again, man. Alexa Bliss whining about crowd chants. Seth Rollins whining about every fucking thing like he's in a perpetual state of period here. And fucking Becky Lynch sitting there. You really you can the you can the posters and the headlines and the billboards and does it just arrogant now? <laughs> it's one of the major problems with the world today it's represented in our sports it's represented in our business world it's represented in our political environment nobody can take any type of criticism or critique at all as soon as it's offered up it's immediately I'm on the defensive, I'm so insecure attack, attack, attack 
That doesn't mean that everything everybody else says about you is valid or true or legit. But sometimes, man, like Becky Lynch, just get a clue, get a life, and leave it be. Holy, man. Or, instead of doing that, listen to what the fuck a Mark Henry is saying and figure out if he's right. Maybe instead of attacking him like a chicken shit, maybe you reach out to him directly and ask for more clarification, ask for greater understanding, ask for potential tips or things that he sees that you might be able to incorporate. Maybe there's none of that, but maybe you could. There are certain ways to react, and this is not one of them. You guys might not always like what I say, but unlike a lot of other people, at least I'll be willing to listen to the criticism. As much as babies as wrestling fans are always called, it just continues to get worse and worse with professional wrestling today. They are the biggest babies and the biggest marks involved with professional wrestling. And that's why you need me. That's why you need OTRS Central. Not just the wrestling show you want, the wrestling show you need.